the best of Quest. Today we're going to be talking about those top 10 games that you need to be playing and experiencing on the Quest platform. Just to lay down a couple of little ground rules before we jump into this, we will not be including any of the free to play type games like Gorilla Tag, Rec Room, VR Chat, or any rhythm based games. We all know those exist. Today we're going to be focusing on 10 experiences that you need to get in your life because each of these games have longevity to them and you're going to be able to get your money's worth back out of them in the playtime that you're going to get out of these. So I specifically catered it to that reasoning, so hopefully I won't get comments down below saying what the hell dude, where's Gorilla tag it's it i've mentioned it that's enough but before we dive into that make sure you smash that like button or subscribe if you're new to the channel as it really does help elevate these videos and get them seen by more pairs of eyes thank you so much let's dive in for our first game which is iron man Iron Man in virtual reality is incredible. Now this was ported across from an original PSVR 1 game, but they did a fantastic job of porting this over and making you truly feel like Iron Man. You jump into the suit and man, you embody really Tony Stark as well as Iron Man in this game because you get a little bit of both as you interact with people like Penny and a few other characters that we're all familiar with from the Iron Man movie slash comics. This game really helps you truly embody that superhero persona and oh my God, I am just so excited to see what this studio can do in the future because I would love to see the same treatment be done to something like Batman and Spider-Man. Now, I'm telling you right now, there is already word on the street that Batman is going to get this treatment very soon, so uh, we can only but look forward to that. But for now, Iron Man, go and pick this up if you want an absolutely thrilling experience. There are definitely a few arcadey moments in this game, but overall, you will just feel absolutely amazing as you fly through the air, using all your cool weapons, upgrading your suit as you go through this, and of course, wearing the different sets of armor. Next up for the survivalist in you, Medieval Dynasty. Now this is actually quite a new release, it only came out just a few weeks back, but this one already has skyrocketed for me, as I've spent so many hours in this already and I feel like I'm only scratching the surface. This in my eyes is one of the most perfect examples of a survival game because it really tickles the things that you want it to. So you want to be able to get in there and survive and grind, but you don't want to die every four seconds. I'm talking to you, Green Hell. Um, <laughs> but in this one, you'll have that need to survive, but you're not going to be punished by a leech eating you every 10 and a half seconds. Instead, you're going to really have to just tackle bears and other scary things that live in the woods. This game is very comprehensive though in the sense that you're going to get in there, you're going to build your community out, you're going to farm, you're going to hunt, you're going to do a lot of things, but everything feels very intuitive and how you'd expect it to. If you're making a spear, you want to pick up a stick and sharpen the end of it, well they got you. It works exactly how you expect it to work and that for me is the perfect experience within virtual reality because you don't want to have to do some weird janky mechanics, you just want things to feel how you would expect them to. And Medieval Dynasty definitely hits the nail on the head when it comes to that. Next up, if you want to go crazy with some physics and have an incredible time, then Bone Labs is going to be for you. This really is a full version of a game. This has everything you're going to expect to find inside of a boneworksy bone lab type game and of course just a little bit more special sauce on top of that as it has a huge mod loader side community as well and you can mod load within the game itself so it takes out all of the confusion and hassle that would come with normal mod loading. So this is a very good example of something that's going to give you your bang for the buck if you want to play around with mods. But of course if you don't then there is an entire campaign within this as well as well as a ton of extra game modes like parkour. You're we have to go do a fun bunch of stuff like that. There's a bunch of puzzly type things and a ton of other things as well, like go kart racing, all sorts of stuff. So, if you really want the full on physics based experience in virtual reality, then Bow Labs is going to hit it for you. This game, I'm sure we all know what it is by now, but still, pick this one up if you haven't because it is one hell of an experience. Now, you want to feel like a friggin' assassin. Well, don't worry, we got Assassin's Creed in virtual reality. In this very, very, very cool experience, you're going to be able to play as three different assassins going through the Assassin's Creed franchise. This is a very cool experience. Now, there is a bit of hand holding in this game that takes just a little bit to get used to at the beginning, but once you fight through that first hour, you're going to be into an incredible experience with parkour and, of course, taking down some people. Now, I do wish this game had a bit more fluent combat, but still, what they have given us is just enough to really give this a strong pass. And not only that, but experiencing the worlds and cities and places that you get to go within this game is very frigging cool. And they look amazing. So this being in VR is a huge win for us. And uh, honestly, I just think everyone needs to experience this at least once. So if you're interested in Assassin's Creed, I highly recommend that you pick this game up. Dungeons of Eternity. Now this is the answer to that multiplayer experience that a lot of us have been looking for. Kind of tickles that D&D sort of feeling without being too D&D, if you know what I mean. So this game is a very, very cool dungeon hunter game. You're going to be able to get in there with a group of friends and hunt through some dungeons. There's a few different types of missions that you can be able to achieve 
achieve as well as a ton of variations around each of those styles of missions that you can go and get in there and explore. Things like the pyramid hunt where you're going to be fighting a bunch of bad guys, you're going to go into different rooms trying to hunt for the objects that you need, or you can go just straight dungeon hunt where you're going to go through there and you're going to try and find an exit essentially whilst also battling bosses and doing a bunch of other cool things. There is so much uniqueness to this game, I really genuinely love it and I have spent way too many hours inside of it. So this one to me is an absolute no brainer if you're looking for something to get in with some friends or even alone, this game is still just as fun solo so Dungeon Fraternity is a high one to check out for me. Upgrade, grinding, hunting, doing all the good stuff. Hell yes. Next up is Asgard's Wrath 2. Well, this comes free, I think even still to this day, currently, at least with the Quest 3 purchase. But other than that, you can still get it on a Quest 2 for a pretty high price. But this game does have hundreds of hours, literally hundreds of hours worth of gameplay in it. And it is a full on RPG in the sense that you're gonna get in there and lose yourself in this game for those hundreds of hours. With huge open worlds that you're gonna be able to go and explore, a bunch of different enemy types that you're gonna be able to deal with. And then on top of that, you can embody all these other types of people as you go through it, unlocking rideable characters, other companions that are gonna be with you to help battle through these difficult situations, and so, so much more. Honestly, I could do an entire video for why this game game is incredible and why you should check it out but just gonna have to take my word for this and if you're really really interested I did do a full review for this game when it came out so make sure you go check that out on the channel. Next up if you're looking for the best sword fighting experience on the quest well I got you bro it's Swordsman VR this is a physics based sword fighting medieval game where you're gonna be able to get in there and truly have that sword fighting experience that you've been hunting for. Now this is the one where it doesn't just encapsulate the murder sim that you'd normally expect with this type of game there's actual tact and intelligence behind those fights. As you get in there you're going to fight a bunch of different AI going through different scenarios and different places and those AI are now very intelligent. Off the back of the most recent update, the combat AI update, now they're going to be able to fight back in a very intelligent way that's going to make you have a very fun and challenging fight. Not only that but there's a ton of bosses to go through, there's a ton of extra bosses with interactive levels and a bunch of other things that you can get up to in there from sandbox where you can go absolutely crazy if you want to, training grounds where you can on leaderboards and even like ranges and stuff like that where you can practice and hone in on your skills. This is a really full and complete game if you're looking for something with that sort of sword fighting element but also grounded in that touch of reality while still being wacky in places then this one is going to be for you. Next up is Ghost of Tabor. Now this is the grinder's dream game. This is very much like, well, it's like it sounds, very close to the Tarkov game, so if you're familiar with the fat version of it, this is VR's answer to that, Ghost of Tabor. In this, you're going to be able to get all of your weaponry, grind, grind, grind to get the best weapons in the game, jump into rounds, and when you go in there, there's going to be a bunch of other players, a bunch of AI, and you're going to have to fight to survive until you can exfil out of there with the stuff that you've collected whilst in there, whilst having some fun with some friends, because you can go in as a group or solo, and of course, just battling to survive. This is a high intense situation and if you like gunplay and sort of realistic gunplay at that then this is definitely going to be the answer for you in virtual reality as it really ticks all of those boxes. So you get in there, grind, man if you get out and survive it's on hell of a like adrenaline rush and then on top of that if you get popped off while you're in there well <laughs> tough luck you lose everything you had on you. This game is really really fun definitely check it out because I think it's the best example of what we currently have of that genre of gaming in virtual reality. Next up we're going to go for the ultimate zombie game in VR and that my friends is Saints and Sinners 1 and two. Now both of these games are available to you. You can pick up either of them without being too penalized for not playing the other one. So yeah, I suggest you start with number one just because it's fantastic. But if you've already played through that, then definitely be checking out chapter two. This is the ultimate in Survivor zombie games. It is open worlded. It feels incredible to be in there. The physics of the weapons, the physics of the knives, everything feels just incredible. You have a bunch of zombies on screen. And if you're lucky enough to own a Quest 3, the enhanced version of this looks mm, chef's freaking kiss. Bunch more zombies on screen and a lot more effects making this game just look incredible. This game really does do everything right in the sense it can make you feel scared, it can make you feel thrilled, it can make you feel just that exhilaration of running away from a terrible situation. Not only are you dealing with zombies in this, but of course you have to deal with the terrible world within The Walking Dead, where people are pretty much just as bad as zombies. Now you're going to meet good and bad, but your choices towards those people will alter the game in the way that you play it. So make sure you make those wise choices, or just become an absolute badass and act like, I don't know, Negan or something. Pick your journey and... and how you want to take it and then follow through in the rest of the game. 
high recommend from me. This is the ultimate in zombie survival. And last but not least, we're going to go for a kind of a mashup of a bunch of games. We're going to have a bit of horror, we're going to have a little bit of survival, and we're going to have a little bit of organization slash grind. It feels like we combined all of the games that we've said on this list and smashed them into one, and that would be Into the Radius. Into the Radius is one of the top-notch survival slash horror slash everything kind of games where you're going to be able to go in and really lose yourself in this game. Now, inside of this universe that you're going to be visiting, there is a very strange thing going on. I'm not going to ruin it because I think you should experience this for yourself as you get into this game, but inside of this you're going to be grinding, getting loot, doing missions, going inside of the radius to be able to do all of those things whilst trying to survive in a really pretty harsh environment and a kind of harsh world in general. Now, the weapons in this are cool because you have to actually clean and maintain them, otherwise they will break down in the field, leaving you vulnerable to, well, dying. So definitely check this one out. Honestly, I have nothing but love for this game, and there is a second one in the works in development as we speak that is going to take this from the solo experience that we currently have into a multiplayer one for the second game. So if you enjoy this and lose yourself into this for a few hundred hours, then know that you already have something very special being in development ready for you probably by the time you finish putting your hundreds of hours into this so there you go guys that is the top 10 quest games that you should be playing right now all available on the quest store as of right flipping now and you're going to be able to pick those up from the guest store just go in there pick them up boom you got them you're going to lose hundreds upon hundreds of hours if you played a bunch of these let others know what you recommend as well and what your top 10 list is i would love to hear about it in the comments down below because i'm bound to have a bit of a difference in opinion where people have really lost themselves to other games and i would love to know about those share them with the community down below help spread the word of awesome games and other than that guys smash like subscribe and all that good stuff and i will catch you in the next video peace out bye